In this video, we're going to learn how to find the nth term of a quadratic sequence. To be able to do this well, you need to be able to find the nth term of a linear sequence. If you're unsure how to do this or want to revise it quickly, first of all, check the link in my description. So, for this question, we need to find the nth term. We're going to begin by finding the differences between each of the terms. So, to get from 6 to 19, we add 13. To get from 19 to 38, we add 19. From 38 to 63 is add 25, and 63 to 94 is add 31. We call this the first difference. Now when the sequence was linear, this first difference would be constant, that is, the same number each time, so we were always adding or taking away the same amount. But in a quadratic sequence, the first difference won't be the same. Instead we need to do the second difference. Imagine the red numbers here are a sequence themselves, and find the difference between those. So to get from 13 to 19, we add 6. From 19 to 25, we add 6. 25 to 31 is add 6 again. This is known as the second difference, and notice this time the second difference is constant. It stays the same. We say that if the second difference is constant, the sequence is known as a quadratic sequence, and has a quadratic nth term. So how do we go about finding this nth term? Well, the first thing we need to note is that the coefficient of n squared will be half of the second difference. So if we take that second difference, which was always 6, and then half it, we'll get 3, which is now going to be the coefficient of n squared in our answer. So the answer will begin 3n squared. Sadly, we aren't finished yet though. If we were to substitute m for 1, we should get the first term, so 3 times 1 squared, but this just gives 3. Our sequence begins with 6 though, so this can't be the whole story. What we do next is write another copy of the sequence down like this. Then underneath this, we write the part of the answer that we know, so 3n squared. We then generate terms for 3n squared. To do this, I first of all write down the square numbers, so 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on, and then just times them all by 3. So 1 times 3, 3, 4 times 3, 12, 9 times 3, 27, 16 times 3, 48, and 25 times 3, 75. What we can see now is our sequence 6, 19, 38 and so on is where we want to get to, but where we're at at the moment is 3n squared, which is 3, 12, 27 and so on. So we want to see what we can do to the 3n squared sequence to get back to our sequence. To do this, we're going to subtract the sequences. So 6 take away 3 is 3, 19 take 12 is 7, 38 take 27 is 11, 63 take 48, 15, and finally 94 takes 75, 19. This is a new sequence here, but if we added this sequence to 3n squared, we know we'd get our sequence. It turns out this sequence is linear. We can see the difference is 4, so it must be a 4n sequence, but it doesn't begin with 4, it begins with 3, so we take away 1. What we've shown here is that our sequence can be split into two parts. There's a quadratic part here given by 3n squared, and there's a linear part here given by 4n minus 1. But if we added the blue bits and the red bits together, we get to our sequence. So all we need to do is take this 4n minus 1 and add it to our answer. So the nth term is 3n squared plus 4n minus 1. Let's try a different example then. Let's start by finding the differences. To get from 4 to 7, we add 3. 7 to 14 is add 7. 14 to 25 add 11, and 25 to 40 add 15. This is the first difference, and it's not constant, so it's not a linear sequence. So we'll check the second differences. 3 to 7 is add 4, 7 to 11 is add 4, 11 to 15 is add 4. This is the second difference, and it is constant, so it must be a quadratic sequence. We then take the second difference, which is 4, and half it. Half of 4 is 2. So the answer must start with 2n squared. We then write another copy of the sequence out, like this, and then we're going to write 2n squared out. To do this, start with the square numbers, and then times them all by 2. So 1 times 2, 2, 4 times 2, 8, 9 times 2, 18, 16 times 2, 32, and 25 times 2, 50. We then subtract, so the sequence take away 2n squared. 4 take 2 is 2, 7 take 8 is negative 1, 14 take 18 is negative 4, 25 take 32, negative 7, and 40 take 50, negative 10. 
we've now got the linear sequence in red, so we find the nth term of this. The difference between terms is take away 3, so it must be a minus 3n sequence, and since we start at 2, we need to add 5, since negative 3 add 5 is 2. We can then bring the two parts of the sequence together, the quadratic part was 2n squared, but the linear part was minus 3n plus 5. And that's our nth term. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out what I think you should watch next, and also subscribe so you don't miss out on future uploads.